Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Yvette Qualley and on my channel I like to create craft tutorials for beadwork, junk journaling, paper crafting, and more. I also like to do junk journal flip throughs as well as shop shares and digital kit shares. So in today's video I'm going to be showing the little sister here on my right of the two journal set that I'm calling Boho Sisters. This is my second set in the series and um, these journals are already spoken for. If you are interested in purchasing or commissioning me to make a similar set, please let me know. I'm always happy to accommodate. Uh, so in my prior video, I did a complete journal flip through of the big sister in this set. So again, let's just look at that real quick here on camera. And um, just like in the little sister, I've done beadwork all around the edge here. So that's one thing I like to feature in some of my journals is my hand beading. Uh, so let's take a look at the little sister here in set number two. And the whole cover here is hand stitched together. It's all different kinds of scrap fabric from several different places. Uh, some that I had, some that was gifted to me. And I've just gone ahead and collaged that up on here. And put a little trim here on the bottom. It's got some uh, velvet trim and some bead trim at the bottom. Lots of goodies spilling out all around on this one. And a little bit of bling on the top. Oh, my tassel got hooked up here. So the tassel is an altered paper clip that I've put a bunch of charms and stuff on. And that hangs from a clip that is removable. Let's go ahead and take that off so that I can show the journal a little easier. You'll see a lot of things sticking out the top here all along the side. I've done the hand beading all around on the edges. I did not do it on the bottom here because we have the other bead trim on there. And it's got a crocheted tie here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Collaged up some buttons on there. And let's go ahead and open this up. So I've used several different kits uh, in this. I've also used some ephemera from ephemera treasure trove on Facebook and let me go ahead and open this up so as you can see again it's a boho theme and here on the front we have a little pocket this is some rice paper uh, with a piece of beet dyed paper on the back for a journaling spot a little label up here where you can write whatever you like we have a Malta sticker here and, or not sticker, uh, stamp, sorry. This is from nevermorecreation17.com. And opening it up here, we have this beautiful image uh, from a magazine. It's got another image on the back, so I just left that as it was. And then I kind of picked up the red color here and some of the bling on the side of this digital page. This is from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. This was a happy mail from Deborah. A little stamping there. This just folds out. This is also from Elsie Bells. This is from Nevermore Creations 17.com. And then I just collaged up some pieces here. All of this stitching on here that you see is hand drawn stitching all around. It's another thing I like to do in my journals. There's a little uh, journal card here on some music paper. Tucks in a little side pocket. And then this was lace from a um, trim on a shirt that I had. So I tore that up and put that on there. This was Happy Mail that I received. And it's just a little journal spot there. Copy dyed paper, stenciling on the back. And then here's some uh, journal cards that I made. So these are images from a magazine that are cut out put uh, paper on the back and then I just did the hand stitching around it and those just tuck in there and then I was playing around with some folding uh, what I did here was these just come out and open up to some journal spots so I like to have in my journals a lot of places that are hidden so you can put your thoughts in there and tuck them away so no one can readily see them when the journals open. Here's another image here from the kit from uh, Ephemera Treasure Trove 
and on the back I just put some paper on there. That's a digital kit as well. This is from Nevermore Creations. Here's a digital kit here. And collage this all up. And this is a little bit of bling that I got at the Dollar Tree. Then we come to this page. There's some crocheted lace on here, a little bit of trim, and I just let that hang down at the bottom here. I kind of thought that was cool. That's scrapbook paper, coffee dyed paper. This is a, a textured wallpaper. It almost feels like fabric. And inside there are these two little um, bookmarks. And I actually got these, I don't even remember where, it was Goodwill or estate sale or something. And and they were made by somebody, but I like the images and I thought they went well with the theme of the journal. And those can be put anywhere that the recipient would like. And then here's another little tuck spot where we can just fold out and have lots of places to journal. So I like to do that. Put that back on there. Up here we just have a playing card that I put some tea dyed paper on the back and another piece from my magazine. It's got a little trim on the side here. And then again, this is a different kit from Nevermore Creations. Here we have a big journal card with some lined tea dyed paper on the back. Just tucks in there. So this is very nature, boho themed. Uh, these are two beautiful images that I just thought, um, I just left them. I didn't do anything with them, thinking the recipient can put those wherever she would like. Here's another blinged up little journal card. Here's some trim I got from Femmer Treasure Trove in one of the kits I bought from her. This belly band here is from... Um, Amity Bloom, and looks like I need to put something in there. Maybe I'll take one of these from over here, whatever that was. Anyway, we'll find something to put in there. Another tea dyed page, a little bit of trim on there. Trim this out, put a little pom pom on there. So this pocket here is from a digital kit from Amity Bloom as well. And then what I've put in there is just a little journal card. And I've made this into a pocket on the side, which has this card, and I've done some hand stitching around that as well, lined it in some paper. And if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's little faint lines on there. The cardstock that I used to put the digital image on had these little lines on it, and I kind of like how it showed through the paper there. So here's a little crocheted piece here, a little butterfly sticker. This just clips on. Here's another one of those fold out spots for journaling. And I don't really decorate those up a lot. I kind of leave those for the recipient. This is one of my hidden paper clip uh, pockets. So it's got a pocket on the back with a little journal card in it and it's a hidden paper clip. And that just holds this little uh, journal card here. That's on a piece of beet dyed paper. And that never wants to go back in on camera very easily. There we go. And then because I live in Oregon, I included a little uh, postcard there from Oregon. Here's another image from Ephemera Treasure Trove. And I just liked both images, so I just left it as it was, tucked that in there. Again, you could put a piece of tea dyed paper or something on the back and make that into a journal card. A little bit more of that trim from a blouse that I had. And then here in the back, there's a pocket. This is a piece of uh, mesh fabric with some beads and, um, what are they called? Sequins on there. And I did not do this. This is a, a vintage piece on there. And that also came in my kit from Ephemera Treasure Trove. And then this was a calendar. I used this in the other journals that I've shown, uh, Boho journals. And I just like the way that that looks. So you can put a note on the back. It's got a little journal card that tucks in the side there. And just put that in there. And that goes in the pocket. 
So on the outside here, as you can see, um, all around the outside edge there, oops, something got hung up here. There we go. All along the outside edge here, as you can see, I've got my hand beading going on and just collaged up the front. And I think it turned out really cute. I think it goes well with the other one in the set. And I like how all the stuff kind of hangs out because it's boho. It's got to be kind of over the top. So I hope the recipient enjoys this and uh, the person she'll be gifting the smaller journal to enjoys it. If you like my channel and like the content and you haven't subscribed, I hope that you do. I am reaching 500 people subscribing and when that happens, I'll have another giveaway. So I'm excited for that. Um, thank you for those of you who have subscribed lately. And as I've mentioned in my other videos, I do live with my daughter and my grandson who's a year old. So we work around writer's schedule. So thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you come back uh, in my next video. I'm going to be highlighting some um, pages. Well, I'll show you the pages now. I'm going to be doing a journal here. This is for a challenge for nevermorecreation17.com and you can check out her challenges on her Facebook page, Nevermore Creations, uh, I think it's friends or something like that. I, I don't remember. I'll put it in the description. <laughs> so um, the kit here, you ha the challenge is that you have to use a certain amount of kits. It has to be a certain amount of pages and then everyone submits by a certain date and you get a little bit higher commission off of those journals. So this will be going in Lindsay shop when completed unless it's claimed before then. Um, and then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, so I've got some pages in here from her kits and I've got some pretty uh, scrapbook pages and I'll be making some pockets in there, different things. And so this is, uh, you can submit up to two journals with her challenges. So I will be submitting two. This is going to be the first one. Oh, that's upside down. It's kind of a farm themed. Um, so important tip there. When you're putting a journal together, always check your pages, make sure everything's upright before you sew them in. I've done that once where I didn't check it. Um, the second set is going to be more of a bird theme. This is called Grandma's Out, Grandma's window, I think. I don't remember. I'll put those links in the description box. I should have wrote all this down before I started, but I just decided to go through these kind of last minute here. So anyway, this is going to be the theme of this set. I really kind of like the theme of it. I like the subtle colors and I just got this new paper pack and it had uh, some of those same colors in it. So I thought I would go ahead and use those in the journal and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cover yet, so stay tuned as I go through these and I'll just start doing videos as I can. So, again, this is for nevermorecreation17.com, which is where I sell some of my journals. And these are upcoming journals that I'll be making. So, please stay tuned. Hit that notification bell so you know when I do upload a video. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting. Thank you so much. <music>